The moon hangs heavy in the late night sky, yet the Pope's still full. Let's have a look why. The day was long and offered nothing of cheer. How about a story over a mug of beer? Crowd around all who dwell here. I'm Jack. Call me the storyteller. Quiet down and lend me your ear. I know exactly what you want to hear. I'll spin you a yarn, and before I'm through, you'll be as sure as I that every word is true. It's about a brave little girl with hardly a fear, who looked for her life like any of these kids here. But wait, who's this stumbling onto the stage? A round of applause for our leading lady. Her name is Abby. She lived in a quaint little village just like... like this one. Trust me, it's not so important where you are from. Even the meekest hick town has stories galore. So that one I'm telling might as well be yours. A little circus was in town, travelling their route, wooing the locals wherever they were about. And amongst all these passers-by, here's Abby. Would you like to say hi? Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? She's not here by chance, though. No, this isn't a visit. This is her home. Fortune has deemed her artiste extraordinaire, though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringmaster announces, Attention, the artiste! A meager little girl child confronts the beast. Help! I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. Someone to the rescue! Can I be saved by scout?
Well done. You've almost got it. Don't stop now. Use your wit. Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. The ringmaster praises. You've mastered that well. But now the hours have whiled away. That was the last performance of the day. Alas, when she's not before the cheering crowd, Abby's life is far from proud. You had the audience cheering for more. The ringmaster praises and then locks the door. Poor Abby. Held in a small cage day and night. Only free for the length of a staged fight. Food and lodging if you eat like a bird. But, oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of rats take heed? and bring an apple in her hour of need. The ringmaster storms in. Disturbed, it seems. What's going on here? He stumps and screams. Should she suffice with the bars of her cage? No. She belongs on the world's wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully, carefully, don't make a sound. She slips away from the ringmaster's grounds. Who are us? Abby, Abby, don't you see the threads holding you up also hold you back? Abby, didn't you hear me?
Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Damn! Hopefully no one heard that. Together, dear Abby, you can move mountains. Was it worth it? All this trouble? Urs and Abby can continue their struggle. But what's that? The ringmaster? We be found out fast. Oh my! Ah, the loyalty of a beast, so often attributed to the heart, but perhaps a deficiency of the intellect? Apparently Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs, though now she's alone. Quick now, Abby, run away! Don't look back, it's a start of a new day. Abby wanted the world, and it shows itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her, they slowly subdue. To wind, stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, tree by tree. World without commands. It's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, coloring over Abby's despair. Sunbeams tingling with warmth, inviting you, continue forth. The world is beautiful, Abby. Look at its colors. Take it in while you can. Enjoy the wonders. It's just a windmill standing still, perhaps envying you for your free will. It is what it is, a stubborn wooden thing. Still, you can't get past it with your strings. Look, Abby, that poor cow sure looks thirsty. Help the poor thing, give it a drink. Then you can pause and give your problems a thing. That's the way. The mill waves Abby goodbye, its arms swinging high in the sky.
worst comes to worst, you can count on me. Those strings on your hands are wings, you see. Little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'll have to cross the river. For my angel, I command the ground not to be painful. Crossing a line, leaping too far, it's human. I'm here to catch you when you've done something stupid. Abby, Abby, charmingly naive. You can trip and fall, but not if you believe. Abby, concentrate. Nobody's that dense. Here, Abby. I'm here to help once again. Not so rash, Abby. What will the audience think of you? Come on, Abby, I'm running out of rhymes here. Resourceful little lass, where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh, without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a string, lest fatigue be too tempting? Trust me. A hunter's cabin, a light, looks inviting, eh, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be.
A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little card out of the way. You're free to continue. Well done, Abby. But I don't think the cart's owner will be happy. The trees block Abby with wooden claws, but they're afraid they'll burn their paws. Thunder and lightning are terrible opponents. Poor little Abby has to endure some trying moments. Alone in the world, she runs wildly about, while the embers of freedom are slowly gouged out. Well, well, Abby, the world is all campfires and song, eh? Aye, it's a sorry state of affairs. Abby, Abby, you know you can't crawl under anything. You know very well it catches your strength. You seem surprised that rain comes from the heavens. Are you likewise surprised that water makes it wet?
This torch is all you've got, Abby. I've heard tales of creatures in these woods. Dangerous vermin, up to no good. The hideous legs, ready to devour you, catch you in her web. Foolishness and courage are next door neighbors. 